Every year, MBA students at Ryerson have to participate in an event called Integrative Week. And so what that is, is basically uh, at the beginning of the week, on Monday, we get a business case, and we don't know uh, normally what topic it will be on. And uh, we're placed in random teams as well. So uh, this year, we're 12 teams uh, between five and six students. And uh, uh, this year, we have been given a case by Deloitte, um, on M2M communication, or also what is called the, the Internet of Things. And so what we have to do, the challenge this year, is to uh, find how this new industry will impact telecommunications in Canada and uh, basically what is the opportunity for them um, to create more revenues. So for this case, we've had the great opportunity to work with Deloitte Consulting Company. Deloitte is one of the big four consulting companies. They're also international reach. And they've given us a case uh, relating to the machine-to-machine uh, impact in the next five years. Uh, we're looking at this from the telecommunications perspective, so looking at uh, Bell Communications, TELUS, and uh, Rogers, and what sort of opportunities they have in the next five years to uh, make some money out of this uh, great opportunity that's coming out of machine-to-machine. -machine. The two industries that we've looked at, we're looking at the healthcare industry because it's uh, vastly important with the baby boomers coming through and also the automotive industry because it's very important to the workers in Ontario. So when it comes to achieving our task in these two sectors, when it comes to the automotive industry, we want to focus on manufacturing and customer service. Manufacturing, we really want to focus on drone communication. And when it comes to customer service, we want to make sure you can communicate with your car when gas is low, when you need to replace your brakes. When it comes to the healthcare industry, we want to focus on wearables. So what can you wear every day that can transmit all the necessary vitals to maybe your family doctor and make it so that you don't have to visit them so often? Also, we want to look at remote surgery. Can there be a specialist in one province that can communicate and do surgery on someone in another province? If telecom can do that, we can make good business. We're here today to present to you the future of digital communication and the role that telecommunication companies can play. So a quick look at our agenda today. We're going to look at the emerging issues and problem statement. Then we're going to look at two key industries and we're going to do an industry overview and the area of opportunity for telecommunications there. And we'll wrap up with a call to action. Same as a truck on the highway uh, carrying this bumper uh, towards the assembly plant. However, about an hour ahead, there's a traffic jam. So the tracking uh, chip on the truck sends a signal to an aerial drone center coupled with traffic data um, which gives uh, insight on the possible delay. These fields will, will not only transfer data from the wearable to the patient record, but also deal with processing that. What are the trends? Are there any high-risk vitals? These messages can be sent to the doctor as well as the user and make sure that that data processing is really being done. So we would recommend for any telecommunication company to take leadership and get in early. Grab that first mover advantage and maximize their profit in this area. Thank you very much, and we'd be delighted to take any questions you may have. It's been a very intense week. We've got through and we've produced a fantastic product, so I'm really happy with what we've done. Um, well, it was a complex idea, uh, or problem, and we had a tough time getting and hammering down an idea, but at the end of the day, when, uh, when it slowly developed, the report and the PowerPoint came together, and uh, we had a smooth landing. Yeah, and I definitely think going in, there are some nerves. So whenever you're presenting, it's always nerve-wracking. But as soon as everyone starts talking, you start to loosen up, and you start to really fall back on what you practice. So overall, it all ended really well. Yeah. yeah good thing, I think, we prepared everything. Uh, in the questions, uh, we wasn't having any problem about questions. Overall, it was a great experience. We learned a lot about the machine-to-machine -machine industry that only a few of us actually knew at the beginning. So a great learning experience, but also a great group experience. We worked as a team, and I think it really came across the presentation, which always helps.